Let, let's start with Ukraine. Uh, his son, Hunter Biden, makes a lot of money yeah. consulting with this energy company yeah. that is was being investigated by a lead prosecutor in Ukraine that his dad, the vice president of the United States, helps to get fired. That sounds bad. It's even worse than that. So if you go back two years before that, in April 2014, Joe Biden is put in charge of Ukraine policy, and he goes to Kiev with a package of USAID money to boost the eco economy of Ukraine, including money for natural gas. Three weeks later, Hunter Biden becomes a member of the board of this company, Burisma, uh, owned by a Russian, ol a Ukrainian oligarch. He has no experience in energy. He has no experience in, in finance. He's just put on, it just happens to be three weeks before, after Biden shows up. And so this oligarch starts being investigated. And two years later, Joe Biden goes on on a plane to air and, and, and as he bragged in that segment, he brags about it, uh, that he got the guy fired. fired the, guy the, was, the guy was investigating his son's company, and lo and behold, guess what happened? The prosec the new the prosecutor was fired, the new prosecutor dropped the case. <laughs> so you know, should he have at least recused himself? Well, I mean, Joe Biden should not be going and trying to prior a prosecutor he knows that he's investigating his son's company. I mean, just even if you even if there was no quid pro quo. The appearance of corruption, the appearance of special dealing there would be enough to say that Joe Biden should not be the point man for the administration on Ukraine or doing that, or Hunter Biden should be doing business in countries where his father is actively. Then his son, 